a short story from Halloween Stories, Spooky Short Stories for Children by Uncle Ammon. I'll place a link to the book in the show notes. Spooky Scarecrow I sat in the living room of our farmhouse and was looking out the window. I think that scarecrow just moved, I said to my mother. It is pretty windy outside, said mother. No, I said, the wind didn't make the scarecrow walk across the front yard. Lucas, said mother, looking straight at me, what in the world are you talking about? I just saw a scarecrow walk across our front yard, I said. Mother got up and looked out the window. She too saw the scarecrow walking across the front yard. There has to be a good explanation to this, said mother. There has to be. Mother and I were both frightened. We saw Dad come into the house. Dad was always a prankster, so we asked him if he knew anything about scarecrows walking across the front yard. No, said Dad. I can't say as I know anything about that. Dad, Mother, and I looked out the window, and we saw a scarecrow walk across the front yard again. Well, said Dad, isn't that just the strangest thing? For some reason, though, Dad didn't seem to be the least bit scared. Dad, I said, what's going on out there with the scarecrows? Mother and I are scared out of our wits. How come you aren't? Yes, said Mother, knowing now that something was suspicious with Dad. How come you aren't scared about the scarecrows? Go outside on the porch, said Dad. We followed Dad outside on the porch, and we then noticed why Dad wasn't afraid. Our neighbor, Mr. Jenkins, was driving a flatbed pickup truck, and in the back of it were several scarecrows standing up. I bought some scarecrows from Mr. Jenkins, <laughs> said Dad, laughing. Mother and I couldn't believe what Dad had just told us. We had been scared over a pickup truck full of scarecrows. It doesn't take much to scare either of you two, laughed Dad. Mother and I decided that we were going to get Dad back for that. We weren't going to let him get away with it. We went and talked to Mr. Jenkins the next day, and we arranged for Mr. Jenkins to drive by our front yard again, but this time he was going to put a stuffed bear on the back of the truck. Oh my! exclaimed Dad, seeing the bear in the front window. It's a bear! Dad was scared out of his wits. He'd seen a few bears in his life, and he knew they were very dangerous. Come out onto the front porch, said Mother. The look on Dad's face was priceless when he realized that we had tricked him with his own trick. Oh, you guys, exclaimed Dad. A few minutes later, we were looking out the window, and this time we saw a wolf walk by. Who asked Mr. Jenkins to put a wolf on the back of his truck? asked Dad. We didn't, said Mother. We definitely didn't, I said. Looks like we got ourselves a real wolf in our front yard, said Dad. We stood at the window, watching, but then we saw Mr. Jenkins waving to us from his truck as he drove by with a stuffed wolf on the back of it. Looks like Mr. Jenkins got the last laugh, laughed Dad. Hey weirdos, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I post videos seven days a week. And while you're at it, spread the darkness by sharing this video with someone you know who loves all things strange and macabre. If you want to listen to the podcast, you can find it at weirddarkness.com slash listen.